Hello, I am Yu Chen. Today I'm gonna show you how to play mahjong in Sichuan style. As you know, mahjong is a very traditional and popular game in China. And actually, in China, different regions have different rules to play it. Of course, Sichuan mahjong is played mostly in Sichuan province, but actually, it's also very easy to learn for beginners. Now let's learn the tiles we are gonna use for our game. Character tiles from number one to number nine. For each number, we have four tiles. Circles tiles the same as character tiles. Bamboo tiles the same from number one to number nine. In total, thirty-six tiles. We also have other tiles: honors tiles, east, south, west. North. For each, we have four tiles, and dragon tiles: red, green, white. Also, four tiles for each one. And we have bonus tiles: seasons and flowers. For this part, we have thirty-six tiles in total, but we are not gonna use them in our Sichuan mahjong. For Sichuan mahjong, we are gonna use these 108 tiles. Now let's see the mills in our game. First, pairs and sequences. They have to be three in a group, also like triplets. And we have these quadruplets. We also call it gang in Chinese. Now let's see the basic winning forms. To make a winning form, we need four groups of sequences, triplets, or quadruplets. They can be any of them, and plus one pair. We also have a special form, seven pairs. As you can see, for these forms, we have at most two kinds of tiles. This is because of a special rule in Sichuan mahjong, ding chue. Okay, now let's play. First, we have to shuffle the tiles, four players together, and then make these four walls. The dealer throws the dice to determine which wall to draw tiles from. First is the total number. Count counterclockwise, and seven is the opposite, and the smaller number would determine how many tiles we keep there. And we start drawing tiles. Each player draw four tiles. Take turns to draw tiles clockwise until each player has twelve tiles in hand. Then each player draw one more tile, and everyone would have thirteen tiles in hand. This would be the original tiles for players. Before the dealer starts, other players have to choose one kind of tiles they would give up for this round. This is called Ding Chue. Then they couldn't have this kind of tiles in hand for this round, and they have to discard them first. Then the dealer would draw the tiles and fold one, and this one would be his Ding Chue. Then each player takes turns to draw and discard tiles. And of course, the first one should be your Ding Chue. The game goes on. Each player tries to complete his form. And in Sichuan Mahjong, there are only two kinds of interactions that can help you finish your form. One is pawn, when you have a pair in your hand, and any player discard the same tile onto the field, you can say pawn. Then take the tile, put them on your field, and discard one tile. The other one is gun. When you have a triplet in your hand and any player discard the same one onto the field, you can say gun and take his tile, put them on your field, draw one more, and discard one. When you are one step before winning, for example. After I pawned, I only need a bamboo number five or number eight, so I would win. 
This form is called jiao. For Sichuan Mahjong, it's very important to have jiao. When you have jiao, you can win bad tiles from others, even if it's sequence. You can also win by drawing the tile from the tiles pool by yourself. This is also Hu. For Sichuan Mahjong, we would go on playing until we have three winners or the tiles pool runs out. In the end, we would show our forms to everyone and calculate our points. Different forms would give us different points. This would be all for the rules of Sichuan Mahjong. Thank you for your watching.